Hey yo, what's good, gang? Today we're quarreling about Einstein's theory of special relativity. I promise you, bro cooked here. Just hear me out. Imagine you and bro are on a train, up to the usual shenanigans and tomfoolery. Y'all are cruising, a solid hundo MPH. You look at some NPC outside who quickly yeets out of sight. Then you look at bro, who is with you on the train. You and bro see each other as stationary. This because you and bro are also moving at a hundo mph with the train. But since you and bro and all the other NPCs in the train are moving at that speed, relative to the train, you are stationary. Relative to outside, you're jit cruising. This is relative motion, common known facts in Einstein's time. But at some point, my bro Einstein was like, hold up, what about light? Photons move like super fast, you know, so maybe like time just hits different. Some said, what is bro yapping about? Claiming cat, whilst other proclaimed, let him cook. And let's just say, bro turned the heat to medium high. Imagine a light clock. This light clock literally has two mirrors facing each other and a light beam skibbity bopping back and forth. You are on earth chillin' with your light clock. Your bro is on a spaceship, jit cruising, but he also has a light clock. Since bro is jit cruising relative to you, who's not moving, that means the light clock is moving faster with him, because relative to his speed, everything is stationary. But un problemo arises. See, in the late 1800s, the michelson morley experiment kind of proved that the speed of light is constant, and doesn't change no matter what like a real G. It's the cosmic speed limit, and let's just say that boys in blue are every which way. So you are stationary, but bro is moving, each with light clocks. Even though bro is moving, bro's light clock can't go faster than the speed of light. But from his perspective, it's still going the same speed. What the frick? Light can't move faster than the cosmic speed limit. So something has to take the repercussion, and something does. See, in order for bro's clock to move on time, time itself needs to slow down to make up for it, so you don't exceed the speed limit. As you travel faster and faster, time literally slows down, period. But there's even more out-of-pocket stuff. Since time jit stretches and contracts depending with speed, time like space deserved its own dimension. In fact, Einstein yapped that the two were the same thing. Bro proclaimed they form a four-dimensional space called space-time. Imagine space-time as a blankie. So if we put a massive gat like the sun on the space-time blankie, it bends it. And so anything that goes close enough just starts moving around it like any basic simp. But also, since any given gat is more dense and therefore more massive, the closer you get to the center of said gat, the faster you're moving. So if you're on Earth's gat, time moves slower than if you're in the atmosphere gatless. That's also what happens in interstellar BT dubs. The planet had a level 10 gat, so they were technically moving faster while they were close to it. So they experienced time slower. Jit crazy, no? Let me give you one more vibe check with that photon clock from earlier. This should tie it all together. Say the photon clock takes one second each hit. Say your bro is on a spaceship again, floating above the Earth's gut, and you are on a small hill above the Earth's surface. Both you and your bro see some guy falling from space with a photon clock. Because guy is moving, compared to you and bro, bro's clock is moving in triangle sorts. This means the light literally travels a longer distance, stretching how long a second is. The duration of a second is directly proportional to the speed of the falling guy. So as he falls further to the Earth's gat, the duration of a second is longer from his perspective. And for you, time would appear from the hill to pass slower than bro in the spaceship because you're closer to the center, like we previously yapped about. Therefore, you would see guy hit Earth's gat before your bro in the spaceship. Jit crazy, no cap. So after Einstein squabbled all that, everyone finally admitted he wasn't Cap'n and was in fact the GOAT, Rizzler of all Rizzlers, and thus the theory of special relativity was declared universally bussin'.